going on guys? Today we are going to be testing out the Revco Tap Smart Probes. We're going to be hooking them up to this Bryant heat pump. Just seeing how the hookup and everything is. Taking a look at the app. And also we're going to test Bluetooth distance. So I have everything turned on right now. Super sunny out here. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see the displays on here. Might be able to pick that up, but just take it from me, everything's hooked up. Let me go ahead and hook up the low side transducer. One thing I do notice with these is they don't screw on very far, but as you could hopefully be able to appreciate right there, it didn't hiss or leak any refrigerant. Go ahead and do the high side as well, see how that one works. You heard just a little hiss and that was it, so they definitely keep the refrigerant loss to a minimum. We're reading pressure on both. Again, I apologize, it's crazy sunny out here, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. But we'll go ahead and hook up our clamps, our high side clamp, and our suction clamp. And these are fairly large clamps. So like on this one, for instance, it's just, just able to get in behind that bill. Not sure how well you can see that, but it's just able to squeeze in between that bell and the service valve itself. But it does get on there and it does make a nice, nice fit, so. There you go, you can see, pretty much steadied out on our temperatures, the clamps adjust the temperature really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and open our app here and I'm using the app on my S8 and I'm filming on my S5 just so there's no issues with Bluetooth compatibility or operating systems compatibility. And as you can see when I open the app, they both synced really quickly. You can see we may be maybe a hair low but the system hasn't been running for very long so I'm gonna let it run again I mentioned before let me see if I can get you guys into uh, into the shade a little bit so we can look at this app hopefully I stay connected all right hopefully you can see this a little bit better over here but you can see we're at 410A refrigerant. If you needed to change refrigerant, well, that sucks. I just lost connection with everything. And the unit is right there. I'm literally 10 feet away. Um, let's see here. Let's go back to connect all. See if we can reconnect. No, we can't, so let me walk back over to the unit, which is right here, and we got our high side back, and now we got our low side. Well, wow, that's, that's uh, not that great. Let me, uh, let me try to walk back out here again. Literally, I was on the other side of this bush here, but let me... Try to walk back out here. You can see we're still connected. All right, I'm gonna continue on with what I was, no, no I'm not. <laughs> Low side just disconnected. And no exaggeration, I am literally 10 feet Videoing on my S5 and the probes are hooked to my S8 so they are hooked to a new phone with upgraded Bluetooth all that good stuff so no compatibility issues but we'll walk out again and see where we lose them see if we lose them in about the same place Yep, just about the same place. We lost both, and we are roughly about 
I'd say at best 50 feet. All right, guys, we're going to run through a little wrap-up of the Revco TAP wireless temperature and pressure probes. The tools themselves worked pretty well. Um, I did have one issue, and it's still an ongoing issue. It might just be a warranty situation, is the suction transducer does not turn on all the time. Sometimes it turns right on. Other times I fiddled with it for about five minutes before I could get it to turn on. I'll just show you now and we'll see how it works. Here's the high side. Never had any issues with that. All you do is hold the power button and it fires right up. No problems at all. The suction side, however, and it does have new batteries in it. This is the fourth set of batteries I put in there thinking that maybe there was a weak battery or something like that, but if you hold the power button, nothing. So what I've had to do is I've had to take the battery cover off and literally roll the batteries back and forth for several minutes. I don't know if I'm just doing that and it happens to turn on or if there's something loose inside. Once it comes on, it stays on. You can shake it around and jostle it. It doesn't turn off, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but that was definitely a little bit frustrating. But again, once it turned on, it came on and worked fine. Now, obviously, that should be a, a warranty issue, so that's not going to affect anybody that, that's actually looking to get the set um, because that should be covered under warranty. But just something that I noticed. Another thing that I noticed is when I first got the tools, turned them on, just like any smart probes, you sort of have to configure everything. You have to go into the app, tell it which clamp goes with which transducer, high side, low side, all that good stuff. Pretty standard. One thing that I thought is once I did that with these probes that it saved because after I've done that, the first maybe two times that I used the probes, as soon as I powered everything up, I didn't have to sync anything. Everything connected to the app, the clamp to the proper transducer, and everything was great. After that first two times, they've never linked up again. I always have to take an extra three to five minutes each time I turn them on to link the clamp to the transducer before I could use them. So that was definitely a, a little bit of a frustrating aspect because I, I'm fine with doing it the, the configuration when you first get the tools, that's sort of a given. But once you do that, I'd like the tools to just be locked in and know what they are. The only time I should have to do anything else to that is if I wanted to change them for some reason or just, for instance, if my low side clamp went bad and I had to purchase another clamp, then having to reconfigure it to the transducer. Other than that, I don't want to fiddle with that stuff. I want to turn them on and get going. We're all really busy, so the least amount of time that I have to fiddle with configuring things, the better. The hookups on the transducers are really well made. They're not, they're not quick connect fittings or low loss fittings, but then in an instance they are because they let out a very, very limited amount of refrigerant, sometimes nothing at all. I had a couple people uh, comment that the clamps looked really big and really bulky. I thought the same thing when I first opened the box, however, when I was able to compare them to like the Fieldpiece Joblink probes, the Testo Smart probes, they're really almost in the middle. Um, the clamp end of the Revco is definitely a lot wider than say the Fieldpiece because the Fieldpiece has that tapered nose on it. Obviously some of that is going to be from the display that's on the clamp, but the Fieldpiece definitely has a more narrow nose. But the Testo, the width of the actual clamp, the part that touches the pipe, is almost identical. They're almost the exact same width. Now on the back end, the Testo battery pack is a little bit longer. And the Fieldpiece Joblink probes, the end is much, much thicker and a little bit wider. So they're, like I said, they're kind of right in the middle of the road. As far as the app goes, I didn't have any issues with the app. It's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot of bells and whistles to the app. It's easy to navigate. The numbers on the screen are easy to find. Sometimes with some of these apps, the numbers are in kind of odd places and it takes a little bit of getting used to. You can pick these up for the first time, look at the screen, and you won't have any issues at all. 
very easy to navigate. The reporting's pretty cool, um, pretty pretty standard for most of the reporting. It automatically imports your information right onto the invoice itself if that's a feature that you use. Uh, also has the ability to take a screenshot versus having to hold certain buttons on your screen. It actually has a button on the app that you can take screenshots. And the last thing we'll go over is the Bluetooth range. Bluetooth range was definitely limited on this product. Um, line of sight, I was getting about 45 to 50 feet. Not line of sight where I think it was the first distance test in the video where I walked around the little retaining wall with the bushes right there. Got about 10 feet away and disconnected. Um, technically, that wasn't line of sight because there was a retaining wall and a bush there. But definitely... Um, Definitely limited, the lowest out of all the probes that I've tested to date. Now, once you get back into range, they hooked right back up, no problems at all. I tested this about, I think it was about six different locations and line of sight I was getting at best somewhere around 50 foot. I think one time I got about 60 feet, but that was about it. On average, 50 foot was, was the line of sight range. Anything outside of line of sight is kind of a crapshoot. So that's going to be it for the Revco TAT wireless temperature and pressure gauges. I want to thank everybody that tuned in for this series. Uh, hopefully you got the information that you were looking for from these probes. Uh, we do have at least a, one more set of smart probes lined up to review. Hopefully I'll be getting those in the next couple weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks again for everybody that's watched. Appreciate all the support. Uh, you can like comment and subscribe down below also there's a little bell icon down there you can click which will give you notifications when we post our next video so just keep all that in mind thanks again guys really appreciate all the support and we will see you on the next one